Hi, I'm Ramez, the solo serial developer of Avocado on Steam. I have partnered with another developer and we formed a new studio called Binary Lunar. And from now on, we will share with you our uh, experiments regarding developing our new game and some Unity tutorials. And today we will show you how to create 2D shaders using the new shader graph. Uh, and that will use one of the latest uh, Unity betas because the last stable version using the LWRP rendering pipelines which has been replaced with the universal pipelines. Uh, I know there are a lot of or some tutorials to show how to do such distortion effect but for 3D graphics I tried to apply some but it didn't work, so here in this tutorial we'll show you how to do this for 2D sprites. So let's start a new project. Let's open Unity Hub. Make sure you have one of the betas of Unity 2019.3. Create a new project. 2D, let's name it distortion then we need to create a custom rendering pipeline by right click anywhere in the project window create rendering universal render pipeline and click on pipeline asset forward renderer let's name it 2d effects renderer then we need to go to edit project setting and set that new renderer as a default one by going to project settings graphics and choosing our new created rend pipeline renderer Uh, I've prepared some pictures to be used in this tutorial, so let me drag and drop them here. You can use any sprites or photos you need. Also, you need any uh, normal map to be, uh, to show the distortion effect. Let me drag and drop those. And let's start creating our shader. Right click, create, Shader, 2D Renderer, Sprite Unlit Graph. Let's name it Distortion Effect. Double click on that. Ah, oh, but we need also to create a material. Let's create material for the water effect first. I'll drag this here. Let's rename this water and our effect will be working as a mask to render what is behind or distorted so I'll mul multiply or duplicate this game object the water and name it water distortion I mean I'll take the exact size of this sprite duplicate it to mask what is behind you can use any shape to apply this effect. Then we need to create a material. Let's name it water distortion. Drag the shader to it, then apply it to the water distortion. Okay, and we set the layer to one to be above the water. Let's now go to the shader. We start with the distortion texture. So we add property texture 2D, distortion texture. We choose the texture we need. I've already got a normal map. You can use any normal map to show the distortion effect. 
drag that to shader graph and we need to sample that using 2D sampler. So we create a node, sample texture 2D and we'll link the texture to the texture place here. Now we need to move this distortion by creating node tiling and offset and linking it to the UV. And to move that through time, we need a time node. And to control the time, we need, I need to control the speed of the movement. We need uh, vector one. Uh, let's name it distortion speed. Drag that to the shader graph. And we multiply the time with the speed we need. And assign that to the offset value here. Of course, we need to set the speed above zero to start seeing animation. Let's set it to one. But as you can see, the texture has gone because we forgot to set it as a uh, repeat. Now you can see the texture moving. Next, we need to get the position of the points behind the sprite. So we create a new node, screen position, to render the points behind the mask. And multiply that with our texture. Uh, also, we can control the tiling of the texture by creating vector2 distortion tiling that will allow us to create multiple effects and we can link that with the tiling here. I should have done this earlier. And let's set it by default to one by one for now. Also, we can control the position of the distortion because we can move the distortion a bit somewhere else to show the exact effect we wanted. So we create a node, uh, multiply, and we create vector2 distortion position. Let's set it to one by one. For now, drag that here and multiply it with the final result we got till now. And we add that again to the screen position. And finally, we need to get the color of the points behind the mask, so we add a node scene color we take the output we reached till now and we connect that to color here let's save and see what we got till now yeah you'll see that we covered uh, the water and the effect is not transparent yet, so we need to do some adjustments to the render pipeline to show this effect correctly. So we go to Edit, Project Settings, we double click on the new renderer we created, and we make sure that Opaque Texture has been checked. Now you'll see the water has been disappeared. Now we will add features to our render pipeline to show the effect. So we double click here on the renderer to add some features. We add a feature, let's name it render everything because we need to render everything except the effect or the layer of the mask itself. So we say render everything 
and we choose the queue to transparent, but before checking the layer mask, we need to create a new layer. We, we name it effects, for example, and we assign the water distortion to that layer. Then we go back to the rendering pipeline. We say we need to render everything except the effects. Now we started to see a bit of the water. And we choose rendering before transparency. Because based on my knowledge, sprites con considered as transparent game object since you can control its alpha. Uh, now <coughs> let's check uh, the material here. Oh, we need to add the texture again because I dragged the material to the water distortion before applying the texture. We start to see something. Based on my experiments, the position best to be set to 0.01 on X and 0.01 on Y. We can now play with the settings here or the properties. Uh, I think uh, 0.5 here, good. 0.2. Let's click play and see what we got. Uh, it's too fast, so we can reduce the distortion speed, maybe to 0 0.2. And here you go. We got the first effect, which, which is a water distortion. Like, uh, you can put things now be behind this mask and it will get distorted as if it is inside the water. We can try that now by adding another sprite between those two layers. Let me Minimize this a bit and set the layer to one and water distortion to two. Let's click play. As you can see now, everything behind this mask will be distorted as if it is in inside water. Mm -hmm. I'll drag now the lava photo. Uh, let's name it to lava. We can duplicate this to create the heat wave effect. And we create new material for that. We name it heat wave. And we drag to that material the distortion effect we created. Then we apply it to the heat wave game object. And we need, of course, to set the layer to effects. And the order to one to be above the lava itself. Now we set the position to 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Uh, we need the heat effects usually. Uh, the waves goes up, so we can set the tiling here to minus 0 0.5 on the X and on the Y minus 2 to get the heat waves. I'll show you a final effect before ending this video. You can create a rain on the windows. Okay, I have already found a photo of a rounded window and create it in Photoshop simple circle to be the mask. Okay, let's rename this window. Uh, this window mask. And we create a new material. Uh, what we name, maybe rain effect. And we drag the distortion effect to it, then we apply that to the window mask. Of course, we set the layer here to 1. And we set the layer 
to effects. Let's now adjust the, the distortion or the shader itself. The position too much. We can try 0.5. Oh, that's so much. Sorry, 0 0.05 maybe. Yeah, that look better. Let's click play. And now we have a rain, something like rain, heavy rain on a window. That's all regarding this shader. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and you benefited from it. Uh, if you like this video, and uh, you can subscribe and turn on the notifications to be notified about next video. Till next time, see you soon.